Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas, the president of Pre Corporation, and we're pleased to have you here with us this morning. And today we're going to talk about a new material that we're extremely excited about, Trilor. So Trilor is a millable, fiber-reinforced composite resin that is ideal for implant superstructures. It flexes and bends to alleviate the stress that is transferred to your implants, making it an ideal restorative material. So why else are we excited about this material? Well, first off, if you take a look at the Trilor, it's tooth shaded. It's going to give you phenomenal aesthetics as compared to the gray materials we traditionally used for our implant superstructures, titanium, cobalt chrome materials like that. Second reason we like it so much is that it's extremely light. It's not as heavy as titanium and cobalt chrome. Third reason is the bond strength. This material actually bonds and therefore forms a covalent bond with your composites, your acrylics, giving you a stronger prosthesis as compared to something like titanium. At our PRISM Design Center, we print the most fantastic bars in the industry. They have the beautiful pearl finish for mechanical retention, but when we're doing working with titanium and cobalt chrome, it's all about mechanical retention. This is chemical and mechanical. It's a strong bond. Fourth reason that we like Trilor is the cost savings. This is going to provide a significant cost savings for you and your patients. This is going to be ideal for the patient that maybe can't afford the Ferrari or the Cadillac restoration. You can still provide a strong aesthetic restoration using the high performance polymer of Trilor. And probably I'm going to say the last reason is that it gives you restorative flexibility. It can be used both in the CAD CAM side and the analog side. On the CAD CAM side, the material is ideal to mill for your implant frameworks, for your secondary structures, and all your different cases like that. Now on the analog side, what I'm really excited about is we have the Trilor arch forms. The Trilor arch forms come in three different thicknesses, 3.5, 5.5, and 7.5. And this just depends on how much space you have for the case. But what's really nice about this is you can do this in the laboratory with a lathe or a handpiece in about 30 minutes. Let's walk you through a case. First off, the parameters for the Trilor arch are that the cantilevers need to be a maximum of 10 millimeters. The connectors between your implant sites need to be seven square millimeters of structure, meaning it needs to be 3.5 by two or somewhere around there. Third, you need eight tenths of a millimeter of material around your implant cylinders. Outside of that, you can design your implant framework as thin, as thick, or any size you want. First, you'll take your verified cast with your temporary cylinders in place, and take a sheet of wax and mark where the cylinders are. You'll transfer this over to the Trilor arch and you'll mark on the arch and take a small pilot diamond and put pilot holes into the Trilor arch. We've had great success then using the Comet number four round burrs to open up our four millimeter diameter holes to receive our temp cylinders. After we've opened up all of our holes to receive the temp cylinders, simply seat the arch back on the cast, verify it's a passive fit. At that point, I would recommend not connecting the cylinders to the arch, but I would take a pencil and I would draw the design I wanted to fabricate on top of the trilor arch. I would remove the arch and take it to my lathe and simply grind away and make the arch form into the implant framework design I wanted to use. After I had fabricated my implant framework, I would again seat it on the cast. I would loot the temporary cylinders to the arch form, keeping in mind that you want to blast with aluminum oxide the arch form, and you also want to prep your cylinders as you normally would with your sandblasting, maybe even paint a little silane to get a chemical cross-link there, and then loot your cylinders to the trilor arch form 
with your regular acrylic resin. After that, you have your arch form in place and you are ready to place it into your definitive restoration, into your long-term temporary, or we've even had certain clients that are using this as a verification jig. So this can be used in a number of ways. And again, it can be done in the CAD CAM world where you have individual crowns cemented on preps. It can be used in the analog world where as a technician, you are fabricating this at the bench, but it gives you a lot of flexibility, saves money, it saves time, it is lightweight, it's the aesthetic, it's just a great all-around solution for your implant cases. We're going to be having quite a few more articles, case presentations coming up on this material. Feel free to reach out to our technical team. We're happy to answer any questions. Stay tuned for the next Tech Talk. We're going to stay in the fiber world and we're going to talk about e-fiber, which is simply the best material around for splinting, denture repair, space maintainers, and non-metallic Maryland bridges. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us today for our latest edition of Tech Talks by Preet. Have a topic you'd like us to cover? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com. Interested in learning more about the product you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com.